Today we have a huge special guest, Jadon Mickens, the great special teams player. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. Good to be here. Yeah, I'm glad to have you, man. Yes, Thanks sir. for coming on. Sure. You know, uh, I know it's the second time you've done this, but you were AFC special teams player of the week. How does that feel? Oh, that feels awesome. It's, it's an amaz amazing accomplishment, um, you know, not only for me, but, you know, the team, because, you know, I'm not the only one running back there. We got guys blocking, guys running downfield, you know, that don't get the, uh, uh, the recognition that, you know, they deserve. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's a humbling experience. It's, it's a blessing and it's a testament to the hard work. That's what's up. And I know that's true. Everybody, you know, makes that capable for you. I understand that was your second time doing it, though. Second time doing it. The first time, you know, uh, we, got, we got a home, $100,000 for a home, Dream Finders. Uh, and, you know what I mean, the, the, this time it, it kind of hurts. Yeah. No, it hurts bad. This time you were so close, you know, does, does, does this mean more to you since they provide people with something, some stability? Or, way more, way yeah. more. Being from South Central LA, it's hard, you know, to, to, to be comfortable in your element of your home. You have to live, you know, day to day, you know, rather than month to month and year to year to how people live. So, mm -hmm. you know, getting somebody at home and having that nourishment of a high roof over their, house, uh, over their head without no worries is, you know, the main thing and the thing that I really cling myself to. You know, we got you in the middle of the season here on the Jags. You know, what, what, tell us your journey. Well, my journey is I'm an undrafted rookie out of the University of Washington, should have been drafted. Uh, you know, I, I went to Oakland after um, for free agency, signed with Oakland. Thought I had a real good chance to play, didn't pan out. You know, went to the New York Jets to work out, the Los Angeles Rams to work out, ran 40s, came here to work out. Uh, next thing I knew, I came with one bag, four pair of shorts, some flip flops, <laughs> a shirt in, in my man bag with all my essentials in there. Yeah. So I, I signed that, that day. And I was on a practice squad. We flew to London yep. two days later, yep. and I've been here ever since. Yeah, that's what's up. Now we, we heard that you know during the transition because when you first get here, let everybody know the team does pay for your hotel. But mm -hmm. after that, you're just making salary, trying to stay for yourself. And tell people you know that's that little story. Uh, me personally, um, I was on a big saving spree. You know, I, I, I went into the off season, and as a young man that doesn't know about you know the real life aspects because went to high school, went to college. You know, people you know, were nurturing you, had mm -hmm. you there. So, you know, coming from that, you had to a week for a hotel when you signed, and then it was all on you because you're starting to get those checks, which is practice squad. You make way less than mm -hmm. an active roster player or somebody else on longer tenure. Yep. So I thought to myself, I want to open businesses up. I want to open up my group homes. I want to open up my, my camps. I want to do uh, all these other things. And money is the a lot of the things I need to do it with. So I was trying to save as much of it as I could. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sleeping in the car was a way that I didn't have to spend that money on a home, you know, because the leasing and the, and the hurricanes here, I didn't want to be in a lease. And if I had to break a lease, now it's on my credit. There's a mm -hmm. lot of things that, that tied into it that, you know, I was getting hit over the head with. And I, I just made the decision, me and Larry Pinker mm -hmm. actually slept side by side. His Infinity and my Nissan Maximum that I got from Enterprise <laughs> said side by side, turned the heat on, put the back down, put my feet in the, uh, the trunk and, and lay it out until we got ready for, uh, for practice or hot tubs. <laughs> I got to say, I'm very impressed, man. That's, that's yeah. a hell of a story, you know, Pretty the sure. sacrifice you have to make. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy for people to understand, it's not peaches and cream coming in this league, you know, you have to really strive and sacrifice and to hear your story, you know, gives people, hopefully gives people a lot of hope and understanding that this is a huge grind and sacrifice really a lot of people make, so I'm, I'm happy you, man, I'm happy you out here doing your thing, bro, because you, you deserve it, man, yes, you sir, really deserve you. it.